Hey, what's going on guys? Another video and today we'll be talking about PC Cloud and FIFA. If you are waiting for for some reason Kevka and Shadow, that'll be for tomorrow. So if you're new to the channel and you want to skip those views for those on the global side, uh, subscribe and it'll be out tomorrow. So for today we'll be talking about the GP units. <laughs> so for cloud, very good TMR. Usually pretty rare these days on a uh, five star units so have actually have a, a good TMR, so definitely something uh, good. Him, you were not able to get his STMR, which is also really good. One of the highest attack weapons in the game. Top of that, 50% loot boost damage. Now, from there, it starts going down a little downhill. The weapon selection is pretty awful, very dreadful. So, you're basically stuck to swords and Great swords, some maces. No, we're not even gonna talk about that. So we're going down the list here. I mean, he used some pretty mediocre things, but then he like he's a little better with his chaining. Octa slash, I'm not really sure about. I, I don't think uh, he's gonna be using that very much. I it's a it's not even like a very popular chaining family on the JB side at all. So I'm not really sure why he has it. Other than for lore reasons. So you're going, I'm coming down here, I'm coming down here. Look, look, you guys are looking at like, oh, look at all the passes they have. Oh, look at that, look at that. Hey, wait a second. There's something missing here. Hey, wait a second, guys. What's going on? Oh, that's right. He doesn't have the six time chains cap. Okay, so that with that, with that out of the way, um, that's kind of disappointing that he doesn't have it, to be honest. Without the six times chain cap, uh, his ground chaining is pretty dreadful. If he had the six times chain cap, he would be one of the best damage dealers in the game, based on what we see in front of us. <laughs> Number one, uh, he only has eighty percent in perils, um, so he has to get it from somewhere else. This is what Zimmer, what Zimmer burst does, by the way. It's really strong. Since the first damage comes first, I believe that'll activate before his first hit. Um, the wording and, 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 and abilities matter sometimes, so I'm pretty sure that the first damage will come uh, activate first. That's why it's only for one turn. It will activate and then he starts uh, using his lump first. I mean, it's really strong. Don't get me wrong, it's really strong lump first, but. It also gives him some things, so I mean, it's not really that important. His unlock abilities aren't really that important to me, but he does get triple cast at the start of battle, which is nice. But there's there's the biggest the biggest two flaws that I can see. Imperils from like 2008, and also no six time chaining cap, which he really desperately needed because he's he's far off where he's far worse than other units in the game just based on not having that one specific thing. So, this could change. Uh, they could change it, they can make an SVB for him. However, he has the tag of Final Fantasy VII AC, he may not get an SVB buff from a Final Fantasy VII banner, just like, or S Final Fantasy VII SVB, just like how Final Fantasy IV uh, the after years do not get the same bonus that the Final Fantasy IV SVP gives. And also, Final Fantasy X2 do not get this SVP just like from, for the those units from Final Fantasy X. So, uh, hopefully, I don't know. If they don't give him the six time machine cap, he's kind of dead, dead on arrival, to be honest. He's, he's basically going to be served as a low burst finisher instead of a chainer at this point. Don't get me wrong, he's, 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 his lone person is incredibly powerful, one of the, probably the strongest lone person in the game if you are able to build him up properly. He has a lot of things that can give himself lone first damage, like in turn 4. Turn 4 gives himself a massive lone first damage increase. I mean, so sure, I mean, he's, he's a very strong lone first finisher, but without 6 times cap, he's going to be worse than like sheer rain chaining on the ground. 
basically is like this it's bad it's really bad like i don't understand why he doesn't have it <laughs> it all almost all of his chaining is meaningless without it um so you're basically pulling for a low first finisher I'm like really are you really gonna pull for just for a low first finisher i mean Setting nostalgia aside, I always, I never review things for nostalgia. That's not, that's not me. So, you already type in the comment section saying, "Oh, I'm gonna pull from these, you know, cloud." I mean, that's that's good, good for you. That's fine. Uh, I am reviewing based on stats and data and things like that. So, this is a nostalgia-free pull zone or review zone right now and for me this is pretty pretty weird not good enough to me i don't i don't think it's good enough in my opinion to, to warrant uh throwing your hat throwing throwing your money throwing your lapis to a hat and hoping that you get something from it because there's no step up zero step up you're basically throwing 5k lapis or 4k i don't know what one it's going to be probably 5k though basically throwing 5k lapis into to a to a hat and hoping that a rainbow drops out and hoping that's either one of the two banner units so i don't know i don't know guys i don't know what you guys think about that you guys still you probably still won't care even if he doesn't have the six times chain cap so that was a that's just a big uh big no-no for me uh so and with the weak perils you would have to have someone else to help him with that so i don't really know who would do that Overall, pretty disappointing. I'm not really sure why they let us down with this. Especially since he's a CG. I mean, they did the same thing with Tidus. They made him into like a weird zone first finisher type unit. I don't know why they keep doing this. Why can't they just make, you know, chainers chain, you know? I get that his lone first is important. And he has a CG with, it, with the lone first and everything. And that's cool, but... I'm not looking for that kind of a unit, so... Eh. And as expected for this unit, Tifa, I expect her to be the troll unit and uh, wasn't let down because she definitely is the troll unit. Um, so her team R is basically Marshall Glove with um, with increased counter chance on it. It's not really that important, but you could like put that on Axtar or something. I think we get a better uh, proc chance on his his uh triple cast counter I, that's all i can really think about right now for, for right now i don't think anyone else would really want that maybe it's the tanned if you're still using him for some reason so uh yeah she's really awful she's a tdh unit for pretty piss poor mods uh sure she has uh i heard she had like quad cast or something but it's only like a limited selection, only just like, um, just like how Lenith is. You can remember the VP units, the old VP units, the, the Lenith, uh, and stuff like that. They can only she can only select one of the, one ability at a time, or kind of like Regina, where she can only use one of her abilities while using her uh, Pentacast. So it's really terrible. It's really terrible. You you just like dupe only. Uh, I guess you wouldn't be able to do it anyways without, without a dupe, but like, it's really bad because I mean, it, the chaining is gonna be worse than doing triple cast, triple cast, right? Like, why would you want to just do that? Like, it's just really bad. And I'm not really making a lot of sense. I'm just saying, oh, everything's bad. But like, you guys are seeing it in front of the screen here. Like, I can't make this up. She just doesn't have the kind of caliber and powers that a lot of other units that are coming out have. She's literally a troll unit. I'm just saying, she's literally a troll unit. Sure, she'll have good damage, but it's just like, I'm not gonna pull for someone that just has good damage on a banner that I have to throw, you know, 5k Lapis into and hope that something comes out, basically. Three prisms are fine, but like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, and her imperils are locked strongly behind. It was at least what I was told. Yeah. For two turns, it's locked behind her low burst. 
Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, I just don't, yeah, this is just not good, I'm sorry. She's just not good, and Cloud's just kind of, he's good as a lump or finisher, but not as a chainer. He's terrible as a chainer. <laughs> so I'm sorry to deliver the really bad news. Uh, my news video for for this event uh, was like the largest spike on my channel, so whoever came out to watch that, I appreciate you watching that one. Because I, I was watching through the day, and I, I've never seen the views spike that hard. It's 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 because cl it's cloud. It's cloud. Everybody everybody comes out for cloud, right? So I expect this maybe to get a little bit less attention because I don't know. People people usually just pull for what they want, anyways. That's the purpose of kind. If you like cloud, you like a CG, that's fine. He's he's, he's going to be very strong. I'm not saying he's bad. He's gonna be very strong if he's if you need a Lumberverse finisher. If you're looking at him pure like, okay guys, let, let, let me let me set you down for a little bit on a, on a different table. If you guys are looking for a specifically good chainer that chains uh, with a chaining family, he is not gonna be your go-to guy. He, this is guy is not gonna be the go-to honestly. If you're looking for someone who has a is, is a very strong finisher, Lumberverse finisher, you can build up all of your Lumberverse stuff onto. This is your guy. This is your this is your boy. I will say that. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to be fully fully negative, but like the the stats are in front of me, guys. I, I can't I can't ignore them for the sake of nostalgia. Um, the one thing that I do like is that he's incredibly tanky, guys. He's incredibly tanky. Look at look at all those HP passes. Look at all those HP passes. It's it's very juicy, very juicy indeed. Uh, if if you're using him. Against the boss that goes through like feathers and stuff, he's probably gonna survive. He has a lot of HP, more than I think, more than most units have. To be honest, that's really that's kind of insane how much uh, HP he has, and also defensive stats. So if he does end up getting the six times chain cap, he's gonna be the best in the game. Uh, uh, sitting next to Raiden, I'm assuming, we the strongest damage dealer in the game next to him. So yeah. If he ever, if he ever ends up getting it, uh, very, very, I would definitely recommend pulling for him at some point. But I don't think it's gonna happen at this point. I, cause the game is back online, guys. I'm playing it right now, so I really doubt it's gonna come back, unfortunately. But it is what it is, guys. Um, I'm really sorry <laughs> to deliver the bad news. Please don't hate me. I'm just the messenger. I'm just here reviewing things. Um, I think I was pretty fair down the middle. I, I said that he's a very good low first finisher, but really bad at chaining. That could change. They could they could uh, ignore their own rules and give him, you know, Final Fantasy VII SPB that counts for him. And if he gets the six times chaining cap, like I've been saying, like he's he's really good. He'll be he'll be number one. He'll be number one chainer, easily. If you got yourself you got yourself a Raiden already, uh, you won't be needing Cloud. And maybe I think some for some people at least some nostalgic people they can probably wait for the the OG Cloud CG, which will be coming in a few months most likely, or maybe next month. I don't I don't know. I don't fucking know. Who knows what's next month? Anything could happen. And, and basically, so guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel and you like hearing this uh, idiot behind the computer screen talk about units all day. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and if you liked it please like if you didn't like it oh feel free to thumbs down i don't care uh if you thumbs down at least i'll i'll try to improve for next time and leave a comment down below if you guys are happy about how he turned out if you're disappointed about his low his low uh, imperils no six times chain cap you know stuff like that so uh and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.